TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live. This is your 1 p.m. update coming to you live from a rainy Delray Beach, Florida. Currently, we've got the rain pouring down in the markets. We've got all the indices trading in the red. The Dow's up 800, the S&P 74, the NASDAQ 104. That's a little bit less than 1%. We're going to spend some time there. Russell 2000 is off 62 points. That's 4% to the downside. Spot volatile index is up by 11.5%. You'll watch the end of day reading. If it is above plus 10%, you would expect and anticipate paid a uh, overnight uh, bounce uh, or rally. Uh, gold's off 54 bucks. Uh, that is trading well below support, which is 1920. So bad news there. Uh, silver's down at uh, 2440. Light sweet crude is off nearly two bucks. And natural gas is up a little over six cents right now. So let's begin by taking a look at the S&P 500. How do we want to do this? Let's do this by taking a look at daily, weekly, monthly, just to give you a feel. So here we take a look at the uh, the uh, S&P 500 in the daily time frame. Its last breakout level was at 33.2644. Slight close below that on Friday. Follow through to the downside. The next level of support from a breakout level standpoint stands at 3204. Below that would be 3047. So 3204 appears to be the price target now for the uh, daily time frame for the S&P. If we take a look at the uh, weekly time frame, we're going to see that the S&P topped with a TD9 count pattern. That was about four weeks ago. And now price is trading below Stevie's green line. So the weekly time frame... And that has a breakout level, and that's at 31.15 as long as price remains below Stevie's green line. Currently priced at 33.29, 31.15 for that time frame. That's the weekly. If we take a look at the monthly, well, on the monthly, price is trading right back into support right now. It's trading right back into Stevie's green line. Granted, it's the 21st. I believe, of the month. So the month is not over, but it closed uh, close below. Let me give you the number. I've just got to find the uh, – well, I'll have to do it later. But you can see that price has moved back to support. Stevie's green line, it closed below that. Well, quite frankly, that could set up a move all the way back down to 22.45. You can see price moving higher, doing less relative energy. So far, we've got a bearish engulfing candle. So if price closes below Stevie's green line out there, well, that says, uh, yep, you could get all the way back to those March lows. 2245. So different messages of support on the daily, weekly, and the monthly, but all of them are pointing to lower price. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. If you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for being here. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.